Hey guys, welcome to the sampler episode of Sandy Danto on Jeremiah Wonders. Maybe you haven't had an opportunity to listen or watch this full episode yet. Well, this is a way for you guys to get a bite-sized version of the episode and maybe hook you to go back and listen or watch the full episode. Hope you guys are digging these samplers. Comment below, like all the reviews, help us very much. This episode was sponsored by Sheath Underwear. Your balls will thank you. They got that two-part compoutment system <laughs> and it really does a good nut hugger of a deal on your junksies. Well, anyway, let's get into this episode of Sandy Danto, the sampler episode on Jeremiah Wonders. Sandy, there's the. Are you okay with the the headphones? You're- yeah, I just got a little. Uh- Oh, okay. And I, I had an entanglement, okay. as they say. Oh, I don't think that that's the... No? I don't think that... That's, that's not what Jada Pinkett Smith had with... It wasn't headphones. Uh, do you know Do you know what that is? She was, um, she, was sleep, she was sleeping with another man. Like in the same bed? Futon? I mean, I don't know their sleeping habits, but... Trundle? Isn't that... Isn't that... Um, Interesting that when you're sleep, you're like I can't believe you're sleeping with another woman, baby, baby, baby. I wasn't sleeping with her. <laughs> I just had sex with her. No, 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 no. Just sexual intercourse. Just sexual. We did not sleep a wink. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't go that intimate with each other. We're really far apart. We're actually in oh, we did it separate. Time. We're actually in separate rooms. Yes, we are with plexiglass, uh-huh. just in case. Even though we're in separate rooms, there's still plexiglass And just in around. case a couple of German boys come around and take a dookie on us. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, it's Sandy Danto. Welcome to the Scheiser cast, where I talk in a plexiglass booth while German boys poop on me. Hi, I'm a German boy, and I'm going to poop on Sandy. This is our weekly segment. My father said I was leader chosen. <laughs> 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 do you want me to poop now or after I do another joke? <laughs> um, let's hear another joke. Okay. Well, um, you know the Berlin Wall? Yes. <laughs> Is it like they're sponsored by vans now? Like, what's going on? <laughs> because that wall is down. It's been off, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that thing's gone. I'm on an October quest for you to poop on me. <laughs> I see what you do, sir. I like it very much. You know what? It's, it was an amazing feat when I figured out how to consistently spell Wednesday and diarrhea. Those are yeah. two very hard words to spell all the time. Once you are at the adult place in your life where you stop Googling diarrhea just to <laughs> spell check, then things are good. Things are going good for you. You feel pretty smart. Googling diarrhea is going to be my follow-up album name. <laughs> 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 you know, some people identify as genders that they were not assigned at birth and that's totally cool i identify as an age that i have grown out of years ago and yet i have fatherly responsibilities that i carry out and execute perfectly what age would you say you identify with currently (laughs) well um probably like 12 because um i'm horny (laughs) but i'm still childish i play with toys i um cry if i don't get my way now (laughs) now with your wife in the bedroom sometimes um, i poop my pants do you with your wife in the bedroom do you go whoa like every time you know you guys get naked together do you still like have that childlike wonderment sometimes she has to just you know the the move where you put your finger in front of somebody's lips (laughs) where (laughs) to, to shut them up i'm like Boobies, 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 boobs, butt. <laughs> you, you, F- you, vagina. I still call it a fudgina. Yeah, you you haven't learned how to say the hard V yet. Mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> but I've learned how to um, touch the hard V. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, you have a baby, dude. I do have a baby. I should uh, I should grow up. Hot Topic had some cool stuff, whether you're goth or not. Um, what were the what what were the questionable cuts? I mean, when you're a teenage boy and you get Swiss Army knives as gifts, yeah, you just want to, um, you know, test their effectiveness sometimes. And also, when you're a kid, 
and you learn like the dexterity of your skin. You know, like I would do things to freak out my friends. Like I would stick safety pins through parts of the skin on my hands where it's thick enough. <laughs> where like, it, I, I'm in the band Slipknot. <laughs> <laughs> and it would, I put my fingers into my eye. <laughs> do you know that song? No, I don't. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good. Continue. You, you, you. I've had chafing on my nipples from exercise, not wearing a shirt with gentle texture on my nipples. And I think that's a fairly common thing because there are nipple covers you can get if for at running stores. They're called rash guards. Yeah. And I've used them for boogie boarding because I am a boogie boarder. Look at uh-huh. this guy. Boogie woogie flu right here. <laughs> da, da, boogie woogie. <laughs> What's that song? I forget the name of that song. I got the rockin' pneumonia and the boogie woogie <laughs> flu. That's me just boogie boarding just out in, <laughs> out in the Pacific. It's Sandy Danto that is actually going to be calling to talk to Sandy Danto right now. <laughs> What's up? Hey, Sa- Sandy, how are you? I'm good, dude. I'm kind of mad. Why are you upset? Because Polly hasn't called me to for me to open for him, and he knows I have a baby now and another one on the way. Well, uh, I'm sorry that that's upsetting you. Do, do you want me to, to, to try to put in a word tell with Polly? Tell the wheeze. Tell the wheeze that you know I've been opening for him for a while, and I'm living deep in the valley, and I really want to go out with him again and just to you know. St- bond with him he's the wheeze is cool come on bro you know i'm busy you know i came to la but it was a whole thing i had you know i'm promoting stuff da 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 the whole thing and it's like you know i try to make time for you but you know you got your whole family you forgot about me yeah well because you don't have a family so i figured i might as well have a family because when you die you gotta leave my kids all stuff well dude your family is my family and my family is what your family. Hey, uh, Sandy, could you do your best Polly Shore impression? I think that you guys should have a Polly Shore off. Um, yo, bro, why you harshing my gig? Because I'm crusty, buddy. Okay. Well, one of my first road gigs was down to this place uh, called um, Lestat's mm-hmm. near San Diego, like near La Jolla. And uh, I rode down with you and Benji. I don't know if I've told you this or not. I've told Benji this for sure. I'm so excited for this. But uh, I sat in the back while Sandy sat shotgun to Benji up front. And um, on the way down, I had so much fun like just riding in a car with these guys. Because these are like two comedians that I looked up to that are taking me on the road with them to do this road gig. And I'm just stoked to be a part of it. And I just remember this moment of you and Benji looking at each other and doing a call and response of, don't go breaking my heart. <laughs> I wouldn't if I tried. You're just going back and forth singing that song. And I was just like, wow, this is what it's like to be a comedian on the road. Because she's so high. The Cleopatra, Joan of Arc, Aphrodite. Son, we've always been able to bond over pop songs from the early 2000s. Okay, this is going to sound weird, but I remember my first impression of you. I was like, this guy is goofy. And I like him, but I was living with Dan Madonia at the time. And I remember he felt a little threatened by you. Obviously, not anymore, because you guys have become friends. Right. But he's like, who's this new Dan Madonia that showed up? And <laughs> Like, we don't like him. And I was like, yeah, we don't like him. And then we did this gig. I was like, we like him. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, at the time... Because you were both just blonde with long hair. That was Dan pretty and much I it. were both long... Tall, Paired, blonde, yeah. tall guys, which a couple gigs that I did, we legit got confused by people. They I get would be that like, with Sandro. Yep. I get that with Billy Bonnell. I get that with Greg Santos. Somebody tried to recite one of my jokes that they liked back to me, and they're like, uh, dude, it's crazy that your mom does porn. <laughs> and I was like, 
big, big pardon? What's the difference between a Jew and a canoe? A Jew tips. I mean, a canoe tips. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's doing the woke versions of the jokes. Yeah, that's, that's funny. <laughs> What's 12 inches long and why? Some penises, but not all. Tony would always yell, Brad Boone, Brad, a loaf of bread. <laughs> <laughs> there was an argument that ensued with language disparities where I was trying to negotiate the price that was given to me at the time of entry, and they insisted that I pay double that. I was looking for double the pleasure, but naively did not want double the price. Now, as a Jew, a nice price negotiation does arouse me but this time it did not because when we finally got down to what i had paid for it was just a very flaccid hand job Control issue in my place. <laughs> I've got a rat infestation, brother. <laughs> Listen up, man. I'm gonna have to set some rat traps because guess what? Daddy's out of control. So you want me to get into opera singing like you? It's not opera singing. It's inflection. King's dramatic King? inflection of the king's. English. Because I saw that movie, The King's Speech, and he had a speech impediment, and it seems like you have the opposite because you just keep talking and running your mouth. This insolence and insubordination will be tolerated, but won't be appreciated so, by your father, King Cornelius. Well, Prince Insignius here, you just gave me full permission to keep on doing it. You just said that you wouldn't appreciate it, so I'm going to keep on doing it because you said it would be tolerated. Drats! 13 years ago, we decided no longer rape will be tolerated in our royal family. So it's no longer tolerated, but was it appreciated? Just when you get me all worked up and my blood pressure so high, you bring it back down with a very cool way of letting me know that you listen to me. I have a poor immune system, and developmentally, I'm fragile because I am an incest baby. Yes, I incested with my second cousin because she is who I was arranged to marry, and he is the result of being incested. And while we are lucky that he is not developmentally challenged, he will not do as I say. So now you must do as I say and not incest. Don't incest, because it's not the best. Don't incest, because I'm King Cornelius. And I'm Prince Insignius, and you just watched a father and son PSA. Can um, I break the third wall for a second and just tell you how great of a podcast you have? This is really nice.